Well, Al Jermaine, I was going to start with a question about your fight, but now I want to address what's on your rings. Ah, just a little dope action right here. Fair enough. I mean, as usual, the fashion is on point, blinging to death today. So this fight this weekend, there's a little more spice to this one, right? Yes, yeah, for sure. Uh, two former CFFC champions. We're both from the uh, East Coast, and I think it's a battle for the East Coast. You and Jimmy have this weird sort of... Is it, is it a rivalry or is it just like looking across the room at each other and knowing that one day, how would you describe it? I would say at first it was like a rivalry in the beginning. Um, he talked a fair amount of shit in the beginning of uh, both of our careers when we were both like right on the cusp of getting into the UFC. And then it kind of died down a little bit after I lost a few times. And then when he came back down to, to earth uh, after he lost to Marlon and things just started to seem like they, they started coming together in terms of the stars aligning for us to fight. Uh, as of rivalry right now, I don't, I don't think of it as nothing. It's just another fight. I got to go out there and just get, my, get, the, get the job done, get my hand raised in spectacular fashion so I can solidify my chance of fighting for the, the next UFC world title. And what do you think of the fight itself? Like, Jimmy's a solid fighter, but perhaps, you know, not the, not the most flashy guy. How do you sort of match your skills up against him? Jimmy Rivera is a very, very tough opponent. Uh, super basic, but it's clean basics and it's fundamental. Um, he's good at what he does. I, I know that. So I got to make sure I'm on point for this one. I got to make sure my fundamental skills are sharp and I got to just try to mix it up. He's a dangerous opponent. I know he hits pretty hard. He's small, he's compact, he's explosive. I know what I'm getting myself into and I know this is a tough fight for sure. I just think I'm the better man. You know, you alluded to the title a minute ago. What do you think of the 130? <laughs> What do you think of the 135 pound division right now with this sort of Cejudo Dillashaw thing going on? It's almost like a little bit murky at the top. What's, what's your takeaway from it all? It's crazy. It's a little chaotic. I'm just hoping we get some clarity now. Marlon's the number one contender. He beat both Jimmy Rivera and I. And he just beat a Sunset who was the number one contender for a while. Uh, I think he deserves to get the next shot. After that, um, I think the matchup between Jimmy Rivera and I can clear up the next guy who's after that. So. I'm just hoping TJ gets back and he fights Marlon so that we can get the division moving. Otherwise, Marlon's going to be in the queue just waiting. And it's once again, it's going to jam with the, 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 uh, the division. And someone's got to fight somebody. You get, as a fighter, I haven't asked anyone else this, but as a fighter, you seems like it's happening more and more that divisions are getting jammed up at the top with sort of guys looking for bigger fights. As a fighter who's on the rise, chasing that title, is that boring to see? Is that frustrating to see like these divisions constantly being jammed up? Yeah, for sure. because. Then you got contenders just knocking off contenders. You know, like it's almost like what's the point of fighting if you're not going to get the ultimate end goal of fighting for a world title? So that's the way I kind of look at it. You have worthy contenders. Maybe before the UFC could have probably said that they didn't and they want to build more interesting fights. But hey, man, you got a guy who's knocked three guys out in a row. I, I don't think there's anything more interesting than that. So let's give the fans what they want. Let's get the division moving and let's not have any more of these interim titles that mean absolutely jack shit. And so last one from me, are we seeing the return of the backpack this weekend? Oh, 100%. Uh, and the backpack's coming in style, you know, uh, for $65, man, $65 a month, Trendy Butler styled me up. So um, we're bringing our A game. We're going to look good doing it. And that's the game plan. We, uh, we had a really good training camp. Some bumps and bruises comes along with the territory, but we're ready. We're more than ready. Thank you very much, Adrian. Appreciate it. Cheers. Sweet. <laughs>